Our Harvest Host stop tonight is New Life Sanctuary. It's a great place to stop on your way to the Keys. It's located near Miami and Homestead, Florida. Be careful as you come into the church. There are some low lying trees. We are 12 foot seven inches and we rub a little bit, but we figured it'll just kind of clean off the top. If you're concerned that you're somebody that is in a tin church or you're not a Christian, that's okay. This church is a harvest host and like all our other harvest hosts, it is open for everybody to use. We don't think you need to be concerned about cellular data or phone service. Check out this big tower right next to the church and stay to the end to hear Fred's cellular service report. This harvest host is big rig friendly. There are three sides to the church and you can choose either one of the three sides to park on. They say that you can just come make yourself at home and set up and enjoy the facility. We chose to park at the back of the church. There's a nice tree right there where we can set up our chairs and enjoy the afternoon and evening underneath the shade tree. So we stopped early today to enjoy our next harvest host. And we are sitting under a beautiful tree with a lovely breeze. It's pretty cool, very nice, and in just enjoying the afternoon together. Isn't it beautiful? Well, 80 degrees, sitting in the shade of a tree. Man, this breeze feels really nice. What breeze? But it feels so cool. But well, I can see the coconut trees blowing in the wind. There you go. We'll have to show you those a little more up close and personal. You can just go through this little walkway and come around the corner and it opens up into a courtyard isn't it beautiful on the harvest host site they invite you to come enjoy the courtyard in the center of the church it's quite lovely i think we're going to bring out our coffee out here and enjoy the morning there's a beautiful reef mural out here. New Life Sanctuary's little garden flag. Amongst their beautiful plants. They lift a ball out here. You wanna play? How are you enjoying this courtyard? Hey, this is great. Just sitting here in the rocking chair listening to the sound of the water and the fountain. Nice cool breeze through the courtyard. Can't beat this. I'll probably go back to my shade tree though. There's plenty of seating all around the courtyard. So if you want to come enjoy the afternoon or morning, they tell you to make yourself at home. Our favorite feature is the beautiful water fountain. You can hear the water as you're relaxing in the courtyard. We've even seen several iguanas up here sunning themselves. Can't get too much more relaxing than this after a long drive. So nice that they share their courtyard with us. Upon this rock, I will build my church. Matthew 16, 18. There are plenty of electrical outlets in the courtyard if you want to bring your devices to plug in and charge or a little radio to play some nice music. We may not be parked by the bees anymore, but we are very close to the coconut palm trees. So if you're not sure what I'm referring to by the bees, 
check out the link above if you're not sure what we're saying about the bees and see where we stayed at a Harvest Host bee farm. Don't stand underneath these trees because these coconuts may just fall on your head. There's plenty in the trees as well as on the ground. So check out a coconut while you're here. I think we're going to try to crack one open. We did a little reading about the coconut and they say that if you shake it and you can hear the milk flowing. Do you hear the milk flowing? You should probably drink it, but it's not quite ripe because you want it to be firm. So when you crack it open, you'll have some coconut. These look like they need a little TLC, but it's kind of fun to explore with them. Who needs a hammer? I'm just going to, whoops. Try that again, milk's not going everywhere. Oh, check it out, check it out, you ready? I'm I may not be able to get any meat from the coconut, but I can get some milk. All right, I got the milk, coconut water out, and I think I could have split it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, something jumps out at me. Check this out. Mmm, yummy coconut. We will survive on a deserted island with one coconut tree. It's not bad. It's not as sweet. It. I don't know if you want that brown part. I think you want to scrape off the white piece. That's what I did. It was pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. We're going to survive. Eat it all. There you go. Have you been driving a long time? Are the kids ready to get out and play? Well, this is the Harvest Toast for you then. There's a nice little playground here. Come on out, relax. Let the kids work out some energy before you hit the road again. My favorite is the swing set. And I have it in my own front yard tonight. Anybody want to go swinging with me? There's even a nice field out here, so if you want to play catch, throw a frisbee, or just run around, there's plenty of room for the kids. They even have a pavilion out here with plenty of picnic tables. I don't know about you, Fred and I are hungry. So we're going to take the time and do some grilling out here tonight. We are going to grill out at our harvest host tonight. We have a pavilion, nice picnic tables. Going to drag out the grill and just enjoy the evening. So I have been marinating some pork chops to put on the grill. We're also going to make some Brussels sprouts by just putting them in aluminum wrap with a little bit of butter and um, sea salt. And we'll let that grill in the coals so we grill out the pork chops and have just a little bit of leftover salad for tomorrow night. So let's get started. The pork chops are marinating. The Brussels sprouts are ready. The salad is in the fridge from last night. And let's go start the grill. I got the Weber out. There's a little bit of coals left over from last time, and we're going to see if we can light this. We'll let that get hot, get those coals nice and started, and I'll get the pork chops on and the Brussels sprouts. So I'm putting the pork chops in the grill. You can hear the sizzle. I put the Brussels sprouts kind of on the bottom. All right, I think it's time to turn the pork chops. Mmm, they smell delicious, don't they, Fred? Mm -hmm. oh, pretty good. And here we have grilled pork chops, grilled Brussels sprouts, and a little leftover salad from last night. You ready to eat, Fred? Let's do it. Mmm, let's make it happen. So we're going to catch the pretty iguana, hopefully, on the waterfall. I'm walking in slowly because yesterday I scared him. Not sure if he'll catch a glimpse of one running away, but we'll try. I love iguanas that he's already on alert. And he lives in that rock up at the top. He is very, very skittish. So right in that top hole above the rock is where the iguana lives. And he does not stay out long at all when you come into this uh, courtyard. We tried. If you've been on the road a few days and need to dump your trash, there's a nice container right here that you can um, leave your trash inside of. So you may ask, what do I do to pay back this harvest host? There's no wine to drink, no food to buy, 
no tour to take. But what you can do is to slip a donation in this box or some other churches and this church as well have a link online so that you can donate it as well. It's time to pack up and be on our way. Taking it easy, chilling. Had to wait for the grill to cool, so just decided to do it in the morning because we're in no hurry. We're in island time already. Here we go. Be sure to take a really wide turn when you come through here. It's pretty tight. Some people did not take it so wide. We cleared it really well. So you can see on the ground where a lot of people kind of cut it close to the, the palm tree. And there are plenty of scars on this palm tree. Show you that some people had a difficult time making this turn. All right, it's time for the New Life Sanctuary Cellular Service Report. Well, first out of the gate is T-Mobile at 124 megabits per second down. Uploads very nice too at 72.2. Next up, we have Verizon, surprise, at 40.5 megabits per second down and 10.5 megabits per second up. Honestly, I used Verizon most of the time I was here because I really never get to use it, so what the heck. And there was no thr throttling going on. There was nobody around. So, AT&T, last place, at 6.12 megabits per second down and 14.4 megabits per second up. Well, I must say, this is one of our favorite stops when we're going down to various uh, campgrounds in uh, Southern Florida. It's a nice layover, it's quiet, peaceful. You can't ask for better. And they got iguanas, come on. We'll talk to you next time.